Clay, I'm the chief of police in Belleville. There are roughly 22,000 students who attend schools or institutions of higher learning in Belleville. 17,000 students are located in St. Elizabeth's hospital corridor. The FBI reported over 160 active shooter cases between 2000 and 2013. 70% of those attacks occurred at schools or at workplaces. The hospital's location is critical to the survivability of such potential victims. The hospital complains of being landlocked. I just don't know what the hell that means. There are multiple public streets, state routes that allow for easy access. They claim the new I-64 location will make access so much easier. Even public housing residents will benefit from the ease of driving their SUVs directly to the hospital. The hospital is not a private business. They are not Walmart or Cracker Barrel. They are a tax-exempt nonprofit hospital with a mission to provide services to those most in need. The hospital claims the existing facility is in major disrepair. The infrastructure is antiquated. Well, who is to blame? Management failed to reinvest and they failed to upgrade. They failed the community. Minorities comprise over 90% of the population in the Western communities. They suffer disproportionate violence and a lack of services. They are ignored and never have a voice in such matters. The Illinois Health Facilities and Review Board must be the voice for these communities. This move is detrimental to Belleville and to our distressed neighbors. I urge you to be that voice. Do not allow this nonprofit hospital to flee from those with the greatest needs in pursuit of the more affluent and well-insured. Thank you.